Welcome to the 83rd Annual West Tennessee Strawberry Festival Grand Floats Parade, presented by the Jones Family of Companies, with special thanks to the Humboldt Chamber of Commerce and the City of Humboldt. Hello and welcome to the 2021 West Tennessee Strawberry Festival Grand Floats Parade. I'm Chief Meteorologist Chris Summers from 39 News and we're with today Humboldt's own Kay Johnson. Welcome Kay, thanks for coming. Hello Chris well, and thanks for having that. me. Tell us about yourself. I am Kay Johnson. I am a native here to Humboldt and I'm super excited about the West Tennessee Strawberry Festival because it got canceled last year yeah. due to COVID. But this is an important part of our community, how we come together, how we celebrate the festivities, the smells. So I'm excited to be here and I'm also an author, a speaker, and I have a book coming out called awesome. Beginner's yeah. Vibe Guide. And it's all about walking in your purpose and being successful and raising your vibe. So I'm excited to be here, Chris. And you've been to this several times times right because you're a Humboldt native so you know what we're gonna expect to see we're gonna be seeing bands floats everything everything cars <laughs> nice cars kids and floats and it's gonna be great yeah and of course this can't you know go on without our good sponsors we have and the Jones family of company is one of our title sponsors for this broadcast and so we always want to thank our sponsors too because yeah. without them of course we couldn't be doing this thank you guys yeah exactly <laughs> that's a great thing for them to be in the community and really helping out with uh, events like this right so what do you expect to see here as we kind of get the parade started here pretty soon what are you what are you looking forward to i'm actually looking forward to some really nice floats i want to see some of the queens in their court sure. and i'm excited to hear the bands yes. i think they're going to be great hopefully they are here right. and they're going to be sounding amazing we're right here by the judges stand and so we're going to get a moment to stop pause right. and embrace and enjoy yeah and you were actually in the bands right I that was. you so you've been in, in that part of it too where you stop at the judges tent there and you got to be you know do your best performances and yeah. that so we'll look forward to that i know there's a lot of them coming from all across gibson county of course and of course even west tennessee they really show out for this they do everybody comes in all the surrounding cities and towns are here to celebrate and have fun and eat good food. Well, that, I like the good food, that's for sure. So we're looking forward to that. It's going to be a good time. We can't hardly wait for the parade to get started. You're watching the 83rd Annual West Tennessee Strawberry Festival Grand Floats Parade on NBC 39. For over 80 years, the economic footprint of the Jones family of companies has been seen throughout Humboldt and the surrounding communities. Their impact has made a lasting impression not only on their employees, but the area's schools, civic groups, and nonprofits. While they continue to develop quality products that are technologically advanced and environmentally friendly, their most important mission is to leave meaningful and lasting footprints on those they serve. Jones Family of Companies, a lasting impression. Welcome back to the 83rd Annual West Tennessee Strawberry Festival Grand Floats Parade, brought to you by the Jones Family of Companies. Now explain the, the route a little bit. Of course, it's a Main Street here, but they, you start kind of at the edge of town almost. I mean, and then walk all through Main Street all the way up to the end of Main Street, basically. That, yes. So it's quite a walk. I remember last year walking it, and there's a little bit of a hill here too. I was like, oh, there's a hill. Yeah. <laughs> so imagine me being a field commander and I'm backwards walking backwards, this right? the entire time with a few breaks. Yep. And so you this long road all the way from the beginning all the way to the end. It's 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 intense. <laughs> State troopers yep, waving. Like to, gotta wave, be friendly with them, that's right. So, and here comes the Humboldt Police, of course, doing a great job with security and, of course, kicking off the parade, making sure everyone stays safe. That's awesome. Yeah. Hi, they're waving, waving, waving. What's up? They're just coasting. Coasting along. <laughs> and they have on their cars to protect and serve. That's right, that's right. And they're doing a great job with every, the, of course, this is a whole week festivity, but right. the parade itself really kind of culminates that whole week. Uh, here in Humboldt. So it, it takes a lot of organization, of course. It takes a lot of people to get this organized. And of course, the police are part of that. They got to make right. sure security is uh, top notch here. So. And now we have the sheriff from the Gibson, Gibson County, County. So they're, they're Department. Turn out as well. And he's just, he's co coasting on by <laughs> as well. <laughs> I can see all the kids are ready for the candy. I think that's what they're looking oh, forward yeah. to. Of course, getting the candy and uh, you got to get the bag of candy. You, and you hear those little horns yeah, that they're they're know. blowing? Yep. <laughs> they love the they toys. Love that <laughs> stuff too. I see some. Someone got some uh, necklaces on that they've got from a vendor here. Of course, there's vendors out with not only the food but also you know yeah. for uh, bubbles. bubbles and different uh, games for the kids and that. So. I remember me being a little sprout. <laughs> <laughs> we have Paul Thomas, Gibson County Sheriff. Sheriff. 
I think as as a kid, you really you really kind of enjoy. You know, as an adult, you kind of take take this for advantage. You know, kind of like, oh, that's a parade. You know, but as a kid, this is a big deal. I mean, that, that's, <laughs> I mean, some probably didn't sleep last night. It was such a big deal for them to get up and come out and again seeing the kids out early today. Yeah, to we were glad to be off from school, glad oh, yeah. to get out of school, glad to go to the carnival. We buy new outfits. This whole right. thing, this is, right? This is a big deal. Of course, your outfit's got to be red, right? You got to have the red strawberries. So. Right, <laughs> red, white, or something like that. Right. We have Chief Deputy Chief Danny, Deputy. Lee, Danny Lewis riding by at the moment. And so people are really getting intense now. They're making sure they know who's coming right. up. Next are turning. Yeah, they have a great, uh, you know, a great turnout as far as even people in the parade. They have a big lineup this year again because of I think last year being kind of a break from it. Everyone want to get back in it this year and really turn out for a, a great parade. And and of course you have the band and you have all the the different color guards that come with that and that. And of course you got that coming up now with our American flag, of course, being being supported there. Yes, with the Boy Scout troops, Boy Scout color troops. guard. And you know this was really an opportunity for. Humboldt and West Tennessee and all of the community to kind of market in a t challenging economy at yeah. the time and so you see these different businesses being supported here yeah. and promoted and that just brings unity. That sure does. It's a, it's a great turnout from a, a business standpoint too. You know you look at all these people out here. <laughs> you should be out here marking your business with all these people. I mean it'd be here in front of the in front of the uh, yeah. uh, front of this big crowd. So Everybody has their stands or something of their tables out. It's like okay right. business is here. Right exactly. <laughs> Let's make some money. Everybody's clapping in the crowd for the color guard. The color guard. So yeah, this is. You find this in every parade, which is awesome to have uh, the flags of. And this is a flag from the troop in Milan, Tennessee. So. Mm -hmm. He's doing a good job holding that American That's right. Flag That's up right. You gotta keep that straight up. That's for sure. And they're and all matching. They're all matching. Of course, they get to lead the parade after the after the police escort, of course. But you got to have the colors lead that, the colors of the flag in that, and that's awesome. All right, we have Humble High yeah. Band coming through. Right, but right. before that, we have the Welcome to the West Tennessee Strawberry Festival Banner Girls. Yeah, the Banner Girls. These actually Banner Girls. They have to actually kind of go through a process to actually do this, to actually be the Banner Girls. Um, the, this welcome sign that they carry, they have to be chosen by the festival committee. Just not anyone can do this. Oh make, man, it's it's a, it's yeah. a situation. Yeah. <laughs> well, you got to make sure you can walk the distance. Number one, but also got to carry a banner. Yeah, so. and you have to be cute, I think, because these oh, girls course, are cute are here. Cute. That's right. They're they're probably showing Humboldt's best here. So yes, yeah, very cute. They got, they get, uh, as with the parade sometimes, some people get a little ahead of everyone else, so they're kind of mm -hmm. wanting to keep everyone kind of tight here. But of course, you can hear the band coming. That's yes. that's always a, a good thing, too, to have the band. So it's interesting now because when I was in high school, it was Humboldt High School, but now it's Humboldt Junior Senior okay. High School. So I believe they may, they even have new uniforms. <laughs> I didn't wear this. We were in the red. Right. So. They sound good, though. They do. They do. And of course, as they come up here close to our broadcast booth, they're going to stop for the judges. The judges are actually right across the street from us in, in a, a place over there, so they got to do their best performances. Yes, they, they have to judged, right? acknowledge the judges. Yep. But yes, uh, Humboldt High School marching band. Oh my goodness! Looking good, looking good in their outfits. So Humboldt High School is always the first band to go into parade. Right. We are the well, first happens, sound. Right? I mean, this is right. It just yes. makes sense. That's right. <laughs> Sounding good, Humboldt. So I played the flute, okay. and then I was field commander. Gotcha. So the flute was a light instrument, right? Right, so not so hard to walk with the yeah. flute. I see, I, I think, yeah, in the back, the tubas, the people with the tubas got it really. <laughs> oh yeah, they got the whole thing oh, going yeah. on. But we just have to keep our arms up, which can get a little. Sure. Mm. So if we want to take a listen to the band here for a second as they get ready to stop and uh, turn for the judges. We'll actually listen into the Humboldt High School Marching Band.
they did sound great actually, didn't they? So of course now we have up next our Barry. Oh, we're, yeah. we're gonna call him the Barry. So Barry the mascot! Mascot, so we always got a mascot for the parade. And we understand this is actually a new costume for Barry. Barry's actually yeah. been kind of reinvented, you know, kind of kind of coming into the twenty, you know, twenty-first century, so to speak. So and of course, the people along with Barry are, are the escorts, they call them. And they are, again, are, have to be kind of, uh, have to come from the committee. They're not just anyone can do that. You gotta have a special job, you know. So special they got, again. Yes, it's they got. Situation. Well, you gotta look good around Barry, you know. They want Barry to be the center of the show, but you also have to make sure you don't fall off the truck. <laughs> right, and they're riding in a 1953 Chevrolet truck provided right. by C.W. Clark. That's so right. that's interesting. Very good. Now. All right, so we got honor, honorees the way it looks here oh, wow. next. So our West Tennessee Story Festival honorees, they're in a nice convertible yeah. for a beautiful day today. So, And they have their, what is that, a, a quilt on the back of the car? It's all decked out with strawberries, of course. Nice. And so these are the festival honorees. This is Vicki and Fred Benjam, Benjamin. Hello, West Tennessee Strawberry Festival. So yeah, so we want to give a wave to they're our, waving. She's looking yeah, good looking pro. good. That's, That's beautiful. right, beautiful looking good with their. Yes, uh, and his wife. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, that's right. That's looking nice, looking good with that. The honorees, Fred and Vicki Benjamin. Very springtime. Very springtime, that's right. <laughs> Getting ready to, to head out with the nice weather here in springs. Next, we got up the Humboldt Utilities. Of course, a lot of this couldn't be done without them. I mean, oh, yeah. I mean, you got to have the, all the street lights working right and have the, all the lights going good. So we Yeah, had, those so, guys actually came out here a little I bit say, earlier. Yes, we saw them out earlier kind of fixing some of the banners yeah. that had maybe the wind had... Last night, kind of some wind came through, so... Had a yeah. few banners that maybe got a little tore, so they had to kind of repair them a little bit. But they're out early this morning doing that, and now they're in the parade. Giving us a wave. And they're, yep, they're giving us a wave. They're the festival dedication from the Humboldt Utilities. And we're going to wave back at this time. Right. Pretty smiles. Thank, Thank you, you Humboldt Utilities. <laughs> Thumbs up here, yeah. Right. <laughs> and they're just kind of coasting as well. They let, right. They're letting us get a good look good at look those at trucks. Right. Like, they're all matching right. trucks they're matching. here. They're, and they're all, all nice and good white. I mean, you, mm -hmm. not, they got, them, got them cleaned up for the price. They have on their green shirts and their shades. Right. We appreciate you. All right, next we have our title sponsor coming up, Jones Family of Companies. Jones Family of Companies. Of course, they've been in Humboldt for many, many years. Many and they're, they're a big years. supporter of Humboldt and, and what Humboldt has to offer. Of course, they have, you know, support a lot of jobs for them as well here in Humboldt, so. It's good to have a long-standing company and they have their banner then they have their truck right, and I'm sure are they giving out goodies they are giving out goodies like good maybe some goodie bags or like some plastic bags the way it looks or some uh, what you call it like almost like a gym bag type thing i yeah, think where you can, you can put some put, shoes put, yeah and then kind of string the string kind of pull at the top and yeah looking they good. have a little entourage behind them they passing these it, bags out. That out yep looking good got a few boxes in the back there they're gonna have yeah, a they, few. Got, they got cup holders <laughs> And they're, they're dropping things and picking them back up and right. running back to the truck. <laughs> Doing their due diligence. Yes, yes, yeah, They're yes, all decked yes. out with their strawberry on the back of their shirt. And, and just, oh, uh, yeah, that's a, nice design. That, that's a good design from Jones Family Companies. So we appreciate them being being the big sponsor, title like sponsor. Of yeah, that is good, isn't it? Hmm. I, that's kind of smart, though, because as people walk by, you see the back, you're like, mm -hmm. well, who are they? Well, they got they can see in the back that they're Jones Family Companies. So that's right good. There. All right, All right, so next so coming have, up, we have the Humboldt Hall of Fame honorees. Thomas Boykin, Coach B. All right. Rest in heaven, Coach B. But here's his, his family. family. His wife that. looking beautiful. <laughs> we remember Coach B. He was a, a personality as a coach for the Humboldt Boys basketball. He actually won the championship nice. one year, yeah, and nice. that was awesome. It was like, wow, Humboldt, you're really doing it, you know? Right. That's great. And glad to have his family involved in this as an honoree for the Hall of Fame. So next we have up uh, Dr. Kip Mays. Dr. Kip Mays. Right. He's, uh, him in, him uh, in the back of the truck there driving down at yeah. the Humble Hall of Fame. So we appreciate that. And the Ranger XLT. That's All right. Nice one. His wife looking very springtime as well oh, with yeah. her green on. Yep. And then our, our, our last honoree here. We have Commander Justin Allen from the U.S. Navy. Waving, waving, waving him and his yeah. family. Another green outfit. Yeah. I think yeah. I like it. The, <laughs> the green. Good, yeah. <laughs> so we have the uh, festival president coming up next the way it looks. Oh, wow. And our president, Betty Langley. 
So Betty Langley does a great job with this festival, uh, with the parade and the grand folks spray. We actually we had we had Betty on several times this week to kind of talk about the festival and that on on WMBJ TV. So she's, she's a, excited. She's excited. Her and her family. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Looking good. <laughs> She's a sweetheart. She is a sweetheart. And she, again, you can kind of see the pride of humble coming out in her for sure, mm -hmm. as this is kind of her, her baby in a sense. She has to put this committee together and put this whole festivity on. So yeah. we appreciate her coming in and doing some interviews with us to talk about the festivity. And here we got the general chairman, Sherry Jo Smith, and her family. So we appreciate them as well. General chairman. So it looks like next we have the Chamber of Commerce coming up. Of course, you know, the Humboldt Chamber of Commerce, probably one of the hardest working Chamber of Commerce. Oh my goodness. If not in West Tennessee, maybe in the whole state of Tennessee to okay. put this together and that. So we appreciate them and their Hi. their support. Hello, hello. Hi. Hi. People. Hi. Hello. Way to go. So Executive Director Adam uh, and Amanda Love and Festival Events Coordinator Beth Culpepper and Administrative Coordinator Sydney. Yeah. So we appreciate them again. They're looking good. They're, They're looking good. good. Okay, this young man here. Yeah, I think we you know this one coming up, that's for sure. And I think he kind of standing out the way it looks with that uh, with that uh, suit coat on today. It's like a pink strawberry yes, color. Exactly. And we must know who this is. This is the mayor, and I think everyone knows the mayor. We I actually know who the mayor is. I met the mayor yesterday at the coffee shop here. He just come in, walking in, talking like he knew knew me from wherever, and just had a nice little conversation with him. He really he really is again kind of the the heart and soul of uh, Humboldt. So. John, John Stevens. Stevens. Appreciate him coming. Supporting hello, hello, hello. He's waving, looking good. Supporting uh, our supporting Humboldt and the parade, so we appreciate that. Most definitely. He's riding in this like a truck jeep. That, that's it's truck nice. Jeep. Yeah, that's kind of a nice, a nice uh, vehicle there. Yeah. That's for sure. Sitting on the back of it in his nice navy blue suit. All right. Next, we have up the Madison County Sheriff. Oh, John. John, yes. Madison County. Right. We love Madison County, That's too. Right. That's right. All right, next we have up the Gibson County Circuit Court Clerk. This is Cindy Flowers. So Cindy's looking good in her... I just like the, the, the different shades of red. You don't have to have yeah. just, just you know, strictly red, but any any kind of red will do. Uh -huh. And that's that's perfect here for the for the Strawberry Festival and the Grand Flush Parade. And she's in a Jeep too, she's not a Jeep, Jeep truck, but she's in a Jeep. She's in a Jeep as well. So and again, Her waving. Face is so and, familiar. Yep, waving and looking good. And I think a, a lot of people know Cindy Flowers, of course. Mm-hmm. Gibson County Circuit Court Clerk. The kids are still blowing those horns, I tell you. That, that, that person walking by with those horns, uh, he, he made a killing across the street here, didn't he? Because they're, like every kid over there has one of those horns. So and They're blowing away. They sure are. So here's our Gibson County trustee. This is Melissa Workman. Melissa Workman. Mm-hmm. So, hello. Big hello. smiles. Hello. Good. How Good are morning. you? How are you? <laughs> yes, it's beautiful, isn't it? Thank God. <laughs> Everyone enjoying the weather, that's for sure. That's a good yeah. thing. Can't ever, you know, afraid with clouds or even some rain, that's no fun. You gotta have the sunshine, the blue skies, and the nice temperatures. You know, and in May it can get a little warm already mm -hmm. in, in Humboldt, so temperatures in the mid 60s looking pretty good uh, today. So that's everyone enjoying the parade. I have to get that sunscreen out for a lot of people because you know the sun yeah. is out today. I love this hat this fella has Yeah, on that here. is looking good, isn't it? That is looking good. And They're taking a nice they walk here pretty, for the parade. Yeah. Looking good, yeah. Even the little girl all dressed up and ready to yeah, walk the parade. Yeah, a little pink strawberry. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to be tired when she gets to the yeah, end of that road. Yeah, that's right. Those, those little legs are walking. <laughs> they got a little walk to go, don't they? Mm-hmm. And here yeah, we the have district the district attorney. attorneys. Their car. This is nice. Looking good. All Enjoy. red and shiny. That's right. The perfect color for the strawberry festival. Mm -hmm. Red, right? Yeah. It's reinforcing. This is why we're here. Right. The strawberry. Exactly. That's right. <laughs>
All right, here's our president of Lane College. So, president of Lane, Lane College. College. Yeah, Lane College. Yeah. Of course, it's a, you know, a good college here that they. Yes. My they, mom went there actually. Yeah, awesome. so Dr. My Logan, dad. Dr. Logan uh, Hampton actually is uh, the president of Lane College, so he's supporting the parade as well as it goes through Main Street here in Humboldt. Nice. And this blue, yeah, he's got, he's another got, Ranger. Another Ranger got that blue. Looking good. Shiny. Uh, they all shine, don't they? All got that They're good shine on. Like that's going, that strawberry festival shine. That is. That's right. That's right. Who do we have here? Good morning. Good, good morning. morning. Good morning. He has his. God bless America. All right. That's the Gibson County Mayor, it's Tom, Tom Witherspoon. Witherspoon. All right, and he's supporting the, supporting the flag out the window there for In the his parade. White, shiny In his truck. white shiny truck. Yes. Very <laughs> he's having conversation he's having, out here yeah, with the people. He's, he's just yelling to the people, which is good. That's what you gotta do here. So this is uh, Curtis Hoffward, his representative. We appreciate him coming out and enjoying the parade. So, all right. All right. And his wife is checking on the community. Uh, Are you all right? Sure, making sure everyone's good, which is doing good. Hello, hello. I didn't know I'd be waving so much. Yeah. Yeah. Sitting here, everyone's waving at us, which is, we're waving right back. I didn't know I was part of the parade, but we actually kind of are part of the parade. So They're yeah. engaging a whole they, lot. Uh, there we got a congressman here that's uh, joined the parade as well. So David Kustoff. Yes. Another shiny truck, but this time we have a Tahoe. Tahoe this time, that's <laughs> right. And they got their uh, got their banner behind the truck. That's way you can keep a, keep track of who we got going here, which is good. So not only having the truck, but have to walk behind with the banner. All of the cars, man. Big smiles well, and thank yous. Day, yes. They are enjoying it. So really got a lot of dignitaries that come from congressmen, you know, the, the, the county mayor and of course all that. So that's always good that they turn out this way. They really turn out for the parade and, and really support Humboldt. And it's, Huge. it's a good way to get get your name out there, especially right. if, like, if you're trying to run for Congress. Or whatever, why not come to Humboldt and be in the parade? One of the bigger parades <laughs> in West Tennessee for sure. We have Dr. Keith Carver, all Chancellor right. of UT Martin. Let's see who it is. Yeah, don't want to be too fast. Yeah, don't want to drive by too fast for sure. So here's a circuit. A court judge. This is honor, the Honorable Claiborne Peoples. So he's here to walk in the parade. Again, look he's actually it. outside he's of actually his truck. Walking behind the truck, so he's he's getting his exercise in today. That's for sure. He has one of those. I say maybe might be counting those steps. That's what. He, are you going to get more than ten thousand steps? I know from oh, yeah. experience a year, two years ago that. I think I might have broke my Fitbit because uh, I had so many steps on it. I think, but. Oh, can't do yeah, exactly. What are you doing? Here's All Judge right. Mark. Judge Mark Agee. Hi. Throwing up the peace sign. Right. <laughs> he's actually he's standing that, up yeah, in his convertible. In convertible. But he's actually standing up. That's, I like that. That's he right. said, I am here. That's right. All right, so next we have the Register of Deeds, which is uh, Barbara Davidson. Oh, her hair is a nice cut. I it like is, that. That's good, isn't it? She's got, maybe got the fresh cut for the Strawberry yeah. Festival, right? That's what we do around here. That's we get you fresh. Get, yeah, get freshened up a little bit. Right. <laughs> State Representative uh, Chris Todd is up next. Let's see, rolls up here in his uh, shiny blue truck. I think, they, I think there's a lot, there must be a lot of detail in the in, yeah. the, in the clean of the vehicles. That's you for sure. You, got, be, you can't roll on Main <laughs> Street in Strawberry Festival and not be clean. Right, right. Come on. And they're coasting. That's kind of how the, the prey goes here. One, kind of a little stop and go once in a while. You got to get her, make sure everyone's kind of catching up and making sure you're not going too far ahead of everyone. So. Make little, sure people but, can get pictures. Yeah, and, and luckily for us, they're stopping right in front of our broadcast booth, so that's perfect. That's great. So here's another representative for us. 
driving up. Oh, that's a Challenger, that, right? That's oh, yeah. a nice sports car. Oh, you hear that engine? You hear that humming? Yeah, that, that Hemi, that's humming pretty nicely. Johnny it? Shaw. Johnny Shaw, so. And he's waving yeah. his grand hand. <laughs> appreciative of everyone out coming out to, to see the parade. Oh, yeah, you got that Hemi. <laughs> Maybe with the you know cops aren't really paying attention. Maybe she could light them up a little bit, get those yeah. tires smoking up a little bit. You think? It's an RT too. There Come you go. On. <laughs> nice red color too. It's a cherry it's red a color. Cherry red, but it's, it works for Strawberry yeah, Festival, yeah. sure. So here comes some of the floats coming up. We got one more uh, dignitary coming by here, and then we have start the fro floats, which is actually the territorial queen and court. So mm. we have the pageantry kind of coming up next, which would be. They always they always turn out with the dresses and the oh hair and the makeup. They are definitely looking their a finest. First, yes, these girls are stepping the game. They're stepping up to the plate, and making sure that they are looking their best. Right? They have to because when you're royalty, you royalty have to has, look like royalty. Yes, royalty has to look good, right? <laughs> All the time. There's no downtime in royalty. No. That's right. You always gotta look good. And we have Joyce Brown, the Gibson County clerk, our last dignitary. All right. She's enjoying waving and everyone enjoying it. So, yeah, we're getting ready for the floats to come up next. And as we start with the territorial queen and court. So, since you've been in the pageants, you kind of know the the idea that they have, like, maids and the queen. I mean, there's kind of quite a court to it, actually, isn't there? And, of course, you're vying for that top spot, which would yes. be the queen. But but even, honestly, the second or third maid and, or whatever it may be, it's still you're, you're, yeah. you're, you did a great job to get to that point. Yeah. You have to to be able to be, get you know, perfectly score interviews, those type of things. Um, and you're actually representing the, not only the royalty and the court and the scholarship pageant or the pageant, but you're representing the town or the city that you're coming right. from. And so. So it really has a lot of pride to it, in mm -hmm. a sense. Not only just the beauty and the yeah. everything, but really you are representing, whether it be your county or your city or whatever it may be. So so we have the first one coming up here. These girls look so look, beautiful, yeah. delightful. They have on these like, I want to say like an off-white or eggshell white looking dresses yeah, yeah. with the bedazzles around oh, them. They, they gotta, they gotta, the sun's got to kind of bedazzle oh off goodness. that, yes. And then they have this green um, float that's yeah. really, really hitting the sun, really on point. And they're waving and smiling. Yeah, that's right. So we have our queen, Alexa, have... Alexia Allen. Yes, she's the queen here for the for the West Tennessee Strawberry Festival Territorial and Queen, and smiling and waving, doing a great job. Our second maid then is Molly Parlo, and of course we have our fourth maid, which is uh, Sydney Sydney Paint. So well, we appreciate them. They look good. They and so look they're, good. they have on the back of their float Tyson Foods and King Tire and Humboldt Utilities. So we, of course, appreciate all those sponsors for the t t t ter Territorial Royalty uh, for the West Tennessee Strawberry Festival. Beautiful float, by me. They have the nice colors, the green, the white, the red, all reflecting. So that was, that was our queen. Now we're actually going to come up with our little miss territorial and that court. So there's actually different categories too. Can you kind of explain as an age group? Is that how the categories kind of go? Mm -hmm. Okay. So because I don't think it would be fair sure. if like, you know, 20 year olds were going against 10 year olds 10 or right. 12 year olds. So you kind of categorize, okay, hey, this is your age group, just like middle school basketball or right. high school basketball. There's a different level of uh, intensity gotcha. that comes with this. But these, they look amazing. Yeah. You can even tell the difference in the, their dresses, right? right? It's still bedazzled, but it's not as the territory court was. And her name is so beautiful. We have the Queen Farah. She's actually the Hostess Princess Royalty. Oh, so, Princess so yeah, so we actually uh, are looking at the Queen for the Hostess Royalty. Which is Brooklyn Smith. Smith. And Haley is the first maid. Second maid, Amanda. Yeah. And we have the third maid, Annalie, I want to say. Uh, yeah, it looks like uh, fourth maid is Addison Gro uh, Gro Graves, and third maid was uh, Anna, Annalise, I guess? Annalise. Johnson? Yeah. Yep. I They're like that name, Annalise. I like that name, too. That's a good yeah. name. They're actually sponsored by Jones Family Company. So, again, that's a, a good, uh, the Humboldt Hostess uh, Princess in Court. So, that's a big deal for Humboldt, yeah. isn't it? They have to, to be that, to be the representative of Humboldt. Of course, this is your, your main turf right here, so... Right. <laughs> And I have a beautiful float as well with the strawberries on a black backdrop that's glittering and shining in the sun. I like that. 
So we have the Junior Miss and Miss Teen Territorial Royalty. That's a full. That's a whole float. That's a. That's a. They have girls float. all around here. Yeah, that is a full float. That's what I was trying uh -huh. to to get out here. But yeah, they have a, the Junior Miss and Miss Teen Territorial ro Royalty. So. Looking good. Yeah, looking good. They got a little more white dressed the way it looks. Maybe not so much off white. A couple off whites in there maybe, but but they're, they're looking good. They got their makeup's on point. Their hair's on point. Everything is just. Perfect, Everything so. looks good. We, oh, we, we appreciate the Opera House and Republic Services and PR Supply for uh, BR Supply for their uh, support of them. So. And even even the floats they've done are are really you know dazzled out in a sense too. I mean, yeah, this is just not you know back in the Iowa where I come from, the hay racks and you know that we don't got that here. We, maybe underneath there, but boy, you're, they're covering everything up and making sure that it's uh, decked out for sure. They have the junior hostess princess royalty coming up right here, and so these little girls are just smiling away and waving, and they look so good. And they have the Queen Michaela Murphy and her court. Looking good. And they have Bone Guards, Creameries, and Jones Family of Companies right. as their sponsors. Again, and this float was a little bit, had a yellow shade to yeah, it with that, yeah. strawberries on it. I like that. Yeah, that it's a nice pop color. Yes, very good. All right, so next we have the Little Miss Territorial Royalty. So we got the little bit younger girls here. Little Misses. Little Misses, that's right. <laughs> And that's Queen Farah. All right, looking a great job with and her court. Her first maid, second looking maid, third maid, and fourth maid. That's right, looking good, waving, enjoying, smile. Got to have the big smile on too, oh the whole the whole way. <laughs> that's right. You you know your lips start to your muscles start to do this jumping thing. Nobody can see it, but you can right, feel it as a queen. Right. Like, uh -oh. And so they have Centennial Bank Pratt Industries and Coca Cola Bottling Company. Hello, we have Sawyer Hunley yeah, at Barry uh, Reveal. Hello, hi. All right, so that was all that was all the royalty that we saw then. That was good. So now we're getting into the bands. So this is a South Gibson County High School band, the Marching oh, yeah. Hornets. All right. South Gibson, which is like in Medina uh, area. Medina. They got the flags out with them as well. The the uh, they're dressed in blue today, black and blue the way it looks. Yes, that blue looks so good. They're looking good, that's right. So let's listen to the band and hear them, uh, hear them play. Appreciate them starting stopping right in front of our broadcast booth right. to give us a little sound of, of the of the the, uh, the band and that the marching band. So always Come good. On, holding that down. They are holding it down, aren't they? <laughs> we have some familiar faces here coming in front of us. You know, Miss Orangey was like uh, the custodian of all custodians. She was amazing, right. and so thank you. that one shined up too. You can see the glare off the off the windshield Man. from the. It's like they went to the uh, the shine oh, the people. Shine place, right? I don't know. Yeah, for sure. 
As a, as a kid, as you're driving down the interstate, you always wanted to honk that horn. You know, always do that, yeah. that, that arm wave like they're, the kids are doing across the street. Actually, they're doing that. Sorry, and jumping up that, and down, that, doing pulling the their arm, arm that's pulling their arm down to see if they'll give it a honk from it. So there you go, and they lies. That's max transportation. And they're hiring. There, there you go. They're hiring max trains. You can hear the honk in the background. Well, we know we recognize the next truck coming up. Oh, it's got, yeah. I mean, you can't really miss it, the sign on the side of it. You really can't really miss that. But this is, yeah, we're looking at the WMBJ 39, uh, NBC Jackson, and also the CW in, in Jackson, and my uh, 39 also out of Jackson. A uh, campaign is this is home. So oh. we're, they're actually right home here in, in Humboldt for sure. So we appreciate A, affordable uh, moving and storage. They're, they're, they're driving the truck. So. His horn's not quite as good as the horn right. I had him, but hey, we'll, we'll so take. Loud. Well, yeah, yeah, you but know, we're on a budget. You know, we got. You know. It's okay. Look. <laughs> but that you, you see, see the sign. I say you see that running down the side of the road. I think you'll you'll recognize the sign. That's for sure. So. It's, Robinson Toyota is bringing yeah, us some got, nice got, cars got, here, huh? Cars and looks like some older cars, trucks, so. pickup trucks. Yeah, brought them out. They got some newer ones got too. Newer ones, yeah. Older models. I think I kind of like this red one coming up here. The way it looks yeah. to me, that's kind of my style. I think I don't. Uh, Maybe I'm maybe I'm partial to the red. I don't know, but it looks, maybe so. You know, with strawberry festival going on, but it looks oh, like he's giving us some pipes. Oh, yeah, he's gonna give us a little, maybe a little show. I can smell it. <laughs> big waves, from big waves, and big smiles. Got to get the band in formation and get ready to go. And hear that whistle, that means get on, on, on point, right? And get, get start singing. They're getting started. Gosh, those field commanders, these moves they're making. Oh my goodness, they're doing an actual salute to the judges right now. Okay, Kay, we're having a great time here, but we need to take a little break from the action. So we're going to be right back to the 2021 West Tennessee Strawberry Festival Grand Floats Parade on NBC 39. We'll be right back. More floats and special guests when we return. You're watching the 2021 West Tennessee Strawberry Festival Grand Floats Parade. For over 80 years, the economic footprint of the Jones family of companies has been seen throughout Humboldt and the surrounding communities. Their impact has made a lasting impression not only on their employees, but the area's schools, civic groups, and nonprofits. While they continue to develop quality products that are technologically advanced and environmentally friendly, 
Their most important mission is to leave meaningful and lasting footprints on those they serve. Jones Family of Companies, a lasting impression. More fun is right around the corner. You're watching the 2021 West Tennessee Strawberry Festival Grand Floats Parade. Our next photo actually stopped in front of the judges. Make sure the judges take a good look at it. They'll be rolling down here. <laughs> it looks like a foghorn leghorn type, uh, maybe a cartoon character thing. Yeah. Looks like a, a lot of work went into that, of course, oh the way goodness. it looks. So, like, who does these things? Because it's amazing. Yes, this is from Tyson. So I guess Tyson, you know, chicken, foghorn leghorn. I get it. Yeah. I say, I say, it's a great day for a parade. That's right. what their float it says. Definitely is. That's for sure. And I'm, I'm pretty sure these are, what, Tyson employees? Yeah, I'm pretty sure, yeah. They're and they're excited, man. It's a bunch of them. Looks like they're enjoying a day off. That's oh good goodness. to come out to the parade, so. To show their face, yes, I work at Tyson. That's right. They got their shirts on. They're... Oh, they got their horn going. These are proud employees. They are. They're in... Yeah. <laughs> they're all waving and smiling and having a moment here. I like it. Yeah, that's one of the one of the good foot. That's a good foot right there. They put together. That's that's definitely a should be in the top of the class. I think that's a good one right there. Eat more chicken, she said. <laughs> so we see the uh, is it the band commander that's walking backwards? Is that what the title of that person? Field is? commander, yeah. Field commander. So they're. There's actually two of them in, in this one that have to walk backwards the whole the whole the whole spot. So you do see them turn around once in a while to kind of maybe yeah. just get back in formation, but and they're sticking it. They're on point. You know what? You'll have strong calves after this right here. Right. We talked about maybe the tuba players earlier, but also you know the the big uh, ba the bass drum or the big drum the. Mm -hmm. You have to carry that on your shoulders, basically, and, and walk the whole distance, too. So, yeah, they kind of kicked up a little bit here. Just in time for the judges. Uh, let's us into the band, the, the Peabody High School Band. I was field commander, and it was tough, but it was great. So it's good to see Peabody. Uh, parents or maybe teachers on the back side here. So Jack Jackson Christian School right. band is here. And they're actually performing in their looks what looks like t-shirts and yeah, they got kind of packages, yeah. yeah. We we would have died for that. Right, that would have been nice to have, wouldn't it? And let's listen in to Jackson Christian. about how they should bring dancing back and they well, actually have it this year. That's what they have coming up, that's right. Some major ads. And they are killing it guys. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Jackson, Jackson, Tennessee. Distinctive dancing. Let's uh, watch and listen in.
Hollow Rock Brewston Marching Washington Tigers. Washington. So let's take a listen to their band as they uh, get in front of the judges and uh, start to start to turn the turn the music up. We have a special guest here today at the WMBJ broadcast booth. Yeah, we're especially happy to have you here with us as the president of the Strawberry Festival yeah, thank you. And, and especially the Grand Floats Parade. This is Betty Langley. And Betty, tell us a little bit about the parade. I mean, this is this is a beautiful parade today. Oh my gosh, we have a, we have a turnout for sure. The weather is perfect. Could not be more perfect. The whole week has been perfect. Yeah, I mean, we started on Monday night with the opening celebration, and it's been perfect ever since. About 15 minutes yesterday, we had a big blow of wind right. that nearly blew us off the map. But other than that, it has been a perfect week and the weather is perfect today. The, the people are eight and 10 deep up and down the street. I think everybody's just ready to get out. Well, I think that's the biggest thing. You know, last year, of course, you had to cancel the parade and cancel all the festivities, but this year, they just want to turn out, don't they? Want oh my gosh, everybody is just so excited, but it could not be a more perfect day. Yeah, it's looking Temperature's Temperature is not too hot. Humidity's low, but I'm telling you, there's eight and 10 people deep right. on the street all the way down from 22nd to 12th Street. So talk a little bit about the, the festival itself. It goes on all week here in Humboldt. It this does. is kind of the, the culmination though. Is this kind of like the main event? This is kind of the main event. It started Monday night with the opening celebration. Uh, we have pageants, two last night, two tomorrow, uh, tonight and two tomorrow night. Okay. Uh, we also have a walking horse show tonight uh, at Chalmers Davenport Arena. We have a 5K, 10K in the morning. Barbecue cook-off. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Barbecue cook-off will go on tonight and end tomorrow. So th there's just an uh, unlimited number of events going on and the weather has been so wonderful. That's the be best thing about having the weather cooperate oh, with it because it would be a mess if it didn't cooperate for sure. But talk about what this does for the community here in Humboldt. Oh my gosh. How, how much of an impact does it have on the community? Huge. Absolutely huge. The, cha the Humboldt Chamber, all of the people at the Chamber office do such a wonderful job. Um, Amanda Love, who is the uh, Chamber Executive Director. Beth Culpepper is our event coordinator, and they absolutely help so much. We could not do this parade without our law enforcement. We call on the Gibson County Sheriff's Department, Humboldt Police Department. They, they bring in law enforcement from all over West Tennessee to block the streets, transport people from one place to another. I mean, it's just endless. We have between 45 and 50 committees that work to make every event work. Right, well, then you have to. You have to have a lot of, a lot of volunteers that help out with everything. And you got a nice band coming up here. Absolutely. You have a lot of great bands that come into the parade. And we are so excited to have the Mass Band. Gibson County Mass Band is made up of the five bands from Humboldt, Milan, Trenton, Gibson County, and South Gibson. And they are performing in the 2022 Tournament of Roses Parade in Pasadena. Nice. Today, the president of the Tournament of Roses Parade is sitting right up here, and he's here to watch them. Oh, wow. So each of those bands went through the parade with their school band. Right. They all go back to the end. Those five bands will make the mass band, and they will come through. There will be 350 students in that band. Oh, wow. So that's the end of the parade, and I can't wait. That's, it is just, it sad. absolutely gives you chills it to watch it. True. I'm getting oh. chills right now. I mean, to have the, the president of the Terminal Roses. He's here. Humble. He's yeah. here watching. He's been here for three days. He visited all five schools visited the band programs, and now he's here today to watch the mass band. Wow, I think that's going to be a nice culmination at the very end of the parade to have oh, that, that, oh, that line listen, of... listen, just wait. Yeah, exactly. It is absolutely breathtaking. Don't want to leave, that's for sure, because no, that's going to be the best part of it. Well, we appreciate wonderful. you stopping by, and, and you know you do a lot of work. You're very busy, of course. So, very busy. You know, of course, next week will be a lot better. But I can see... I can see tomorrow right. now. I can go. see the end of the tunnel. We appreciate it, Betty. Thank, Thank you so you much so for joining much. us. Thank we you. bet you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. This is the Bernie High School marching band. 
actually came all the way from Bernie, Missouri. Oh, wow. Let's listen. Next up, you can hear the sirens. That's the Gibson County EMS. Very integral part of the city. I'm exactly. Sure. How big of an opportunity that is for all these all these uh, students to go out to the Rose Bowl Parade next year and be picked and to do that. So we're going to listen to them as they come up here and actually kind of show off for the Terminal Roses Parade uh, president who is here at Humboldt. Hi.
I think that should be pretty impressive for the uh, Tournament of Roses president. That was a very impressive wow. uh, display by all of the Gibson County bands. I think that was uh, pretty impressive for wow. all the bands to come together like that and, and show off. And hopefully next year they're, they're going to be in California for the 2022 Tournament of Roses Parade. I think I'm mesmerized right yeah. now. <laughs> it really does kind of send chills uh, just to see how in unison they were, you know, how they work together. You have five different high schools coming together to put together one big band for Gibson County. And so, yeah, a great parade once again this year. Actually, we're coming to an end again for the parade, but boy, we enjoyed your insights and all the, the love that you had for the town. You really showed that today, and we really appreciate you coming by and taking the time to join us. Awesome. Yes, yeah, so for your passion for the Strawberry Festival, I mean, you've been here long enough, you know that this is this is a thing. This is the heartbeat. Right. The Strawberry Festival is the heartbeat of Humboldt, Tennessee, and I couldn't be more proud to be a Humboldtian, yes. a graduate of Humboldt High School, a native. I love it here. I really do love it here. That's great. Well, thank you again for joining us, Kay, and, and great luck with the book and everything. Everything, but and I'm uh, NBC 39 chief meteorologist Chris Summers signing off from this year's West Tennessee Strawberry Festival Grand Floats Parade. Thank you for watching. We hope to see you next year.